starting lineups, Indiana Fever, we talked about it, Mary, a very young lineup. We see the two rookies now in the lineup for the Fever. And then the Los Angeles Sparks, not much has changed there. It's been very consistent. Taking every game as it is the number one game that is going to lead them. We know how important that top two spot is, especially leading off in the playoffs with the top eight going three, as well as Brenda Pantoja. And we are off the Sparks with the first ball. Chung prevents her from getting inside, but it doesn't matter because the outside shot is open for Candace. With the ball to Kelsey Mitchell, known to move it out in transition, passes out to Victoria Vivians, who can let it fly from the outside. Yes. Early in the shot clock, takes the shot. Candace Parker in transition for two from Chelsea Gray. Going to run the floor every time for you. It puts a lot of pressure on the opposing post to get back in transition. Just like that, Candace Dupree with the two is six years, and that's Shanice Johnson. Who's right now on the sideline with the left knee injury, but Tiffany Mitchell rising up that 15-footer is her go-to. <laughs> inside to Candace Parker, win in doubt. Get her the ball in the inside. Yeah, the high-low and the outstanding guard play opens that up, and a steal by Gray. And the no look to Odyssey, Sims County. Mitchell turning down an outside shot to get to the rim. Chadwa cleans up. And the help rotation step breaks down and doubling the ball for Indiana Fever right now, which is going to leave Candace Parker open underneath, as you see there, for another two. Actually, off that trap off of the screen, but they handle it very well, finding Candace Parker underneath. Natalie Achanwa, same spot, same result, knocks it down. She's not going to miss many of those. Right. Seeing if she can work the baseline going. So Lavender on the floor for L.A. And it beats the buzzer. Something we're used to seeing her doing is shooting on the outside. As it's Carson on the floor as well. Erica Wheeler coming off the bench. And she is an instant impact coach. They shoot for just 32% in the early going. Tiffany Mitchell has been pushing the pace on the inside. One in the foul as well. But she'll have to settle for the two. And we've seen a lot of the old boards for them, but they're pushing in transition here. Raquan Williams from Odyssey Sims. Just 13 points. In your interview, even with Elena Beard, she said there was a time when we had to get it going. It's Kayla Alexander, but it might be something we need to look into. She's been on fire. Allow the other team to get points. You don't like the turnover, but you're very fortunate that they can't convert. Raquana Williams lets it go, and it is good. Confidence is a shooter's best friend. All of Raquana Williams going after the steal. Good, and she has a matchup against Kelsey Mitchell for the shot clock. She lets it go, and it is good for the long two. Right back at you. Six for the Sparks. Candace is asking for the ball. Two. Let's it go and beats the buzzer. The step back. The Sparks pay Candace Parker showing her guard skills. Chelsea Gray getting all the way to the rim and good. Just so rugged. In cleaning up on the boards, but turns it over to Neko Gwunike like she was on her team. Chelsea Gray saying, who's with me? All right, no problem, I got this. <laughs> the crowd saw it two steps before the layup. Neko Grumake, 46% now, they're at 33% from the field. Candace Parker taking on Kelsey Mitchell, not much you can do there. Nice dish on the inside. Nice and Sims can't get it to go. Erica Wheeler in the break off the glass for three. Just put the whole roster down for the Sparks. Chelsea Gray with three on the shot clock. Again. I'm not a whole roster kind of person, but I do think there are a number of L.A. Sparks that will deserve to be on the All-Star team. She'll take the shot with six on the shot clock, misses everything. But Erica McCall there to clean it up for two. 
the Chong Wu, Tiffany Mitchell. Trying to create some offense of her own, and there it is right there, getting to the paint. And that's been something they've been able to do good. About 20 seconds left in this game. This is the first half. Until Lavender trying to go to work on the call. And just like that, until Lavender showing what you can do with her. And her shot was no good right now. She only has two points in that first matchup. She had 20 Odyssey Sims to the rim. Candace Parker loads from outside. And that's three for Candace Parker. Never gives up on it. Seeing who she can be put on is Candace Parker finds Neka Gumake underneath. And it goes for Neka Gumake. Elsie Mitchell with nine on the shot clock. And there will be a foul. The foul is on Odyssey Sims. Kelsey Mitchell with the right hand comes back. And a whack to the face. Eight-point lead right now for the Sparks. Working it on the inside is Neka Gumake. Pushes it to 10. Neka Gumake. Candice DeBruz had a quiet night, but Nalia Chanwa has been all over the place and racks up another board. That'll be nine for her. Elena Beard trying to corral the ball in. Chelsea Gray found an opening. It's going to take it. It's a nice job of Mueller. Hitting the backboard, two on the shot clock. Natalie Gachamba takes a hit. Guess who? And the two will go off the putback by Erica McCall. And another shot clock late in, and Natalie Gachamba gets it to go. Who has been solid so far tonight. Tyson, you can really see her growth as a basketball player, the confidence that she's playing with. Never takes a time off, and neither does Neka Gumake. Fake. Does it go? Eric Wheeler with the 15 second shot clock goes in and scores. Vivian's coming off a career game and all over the place. Eight points, three rebounds, two assists. Knocked down, two threes. Coach said she's instant energy. Chelsea Gray looking around like if no one's going to guard me in the first half. Fighting next to the side. Jantel Lavender for the three pointer. Clock right now. McCall lets it go, misses everything. Well, now there's a re reset. And Asia Taylor, 12 on the shot clock. And Asia Taylor taking it on the inside. And, call a block. and there is a block against Raquana Williams. As of a few days ago. 40 seconds left, and Odyssey Sims takes full advantage. And finishes right at the rim. We really talk about getting into the tunnel and just challenging the interior defense. Kelsey Mitchell in transition. That's the Kelsey Mitchell we're used to seeing now with five points. Continues to get better coming off of the game. 21 points and six assists. And Essence Carson, another player that has grown. Carter Williams. Kelsey Mitchell with Kelsey Mitchell. Now it's seven point. Tiffany Mitchell to the rim. Gets it to go. That is nine. That'll be ten points for Tiffany Mitchell. He has shrunk to five. A nice dish by Chelsea Gray. One of those moves on the inside where you're like. In the shot clock, Chelsea Gray getting to the rim. Count it again for the Lakers if things pan out. Another turnover by the Indiana Beaver. That's number 15, and that is number 15 in points off those turnovers by Neko Gumake. All this season in the first 12 games, that's how good she's been. It's been solid for Jantel Lavender, another player. As well with understanding his team with a nice dish underneath by Odyssey Sims to Chelsea Gray. You're not the only one that can pass the rock. And especially approaching that one minute mark here at home to push their win streak to five is Raquana Williams. He's showing no signs of slowing down. Not at all. A couple figures as well in the previous game against Chicago. So it is a balanced act. 
As the last heave is no good for Erica Wheeler, the Indiana Fever. And just like that, the Sparks push their win streak to five. 